Hey everybody, I'm a few minutes late, but I'm here and we're gonna work on our 4th of July truck that we made. First for uh, Easter, we had carrots in it that we made from the metal corn from the fall. Uh, we It's meant to hang up and this uh, bow, I left on here. I already took the carrots out um, and put them in my Easter box or bin. So I'm going to tell you to take this bow off. So now we just got kind of a blank canvas. And I think I told you that um, we may leave the truck um, the color it is. I'm going to actually change to raffia um, on the back of this. I mean, on the truck cart. So let me put this moss in here. All right, first let me pull y'all up on here so I can turn my comments off up here and I can see you better. Hey, Miss Carol. Hey, Pat. Hey, Sharon. Uh, hey, Mary Lou. Hey, Kim from Tennessee. Mary Lou is from North Georgia. Um, oh, Chris isn't here and I'm trying to work his Mac. No available windows. What does that mean? <laughs> Buffy, do you know anything about, um, what does that mean? Okay, there we go. Facebook. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work a Mac, which is something I despise. Computers are supposed to be easier, not more complicated. And I think they want to be so far off from your everyday computer that they, here we go. They make it harder. Oh, let me turn my sound off so y'all are not hearing my second delay. Hey, Cynthia from Pennsylvania. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take this moss out. And remember, we just put moss in the inside and save that because we're switching it out. We're going to totally change it. And I think I told y'all that we weren't going to change the truck, that we like the green. Not that I don't like the green, but... I want to bring in um, just red and whites to it, so I want the majority of this to be, um, of the truck to be navy blue. So I think I'm just gonna put some navy blue highlights in it. I have my navy blue, or isn't it called, uh, let's see, it's got some little fancy name to it. It's my, um, oh gosh, my um, Dixie Belle. Blue, y'all have got so much paint in this. I'm gonna end up breaking these little bottle drawers if I don't get some of it out. Ah, where did I put my navy blue? Remember the other night it was right in front of me like it is right now. It's called Bunker Hill Blue. Um, and the reason why I wanna use this color is because the little um, Uncle Sam hat that we're gonna make, um, I wanna make out of jean material, a really light jean. And I need to get my 4th of July um, supplies out of you know, my bin out of my room if I want to do crafts. Because I'm sure I probably have some stuff in there from last year that I might want to use. Hey, Eddie. Um, hello, Sin. How's your day going? Carol Walters from Pennsylvania. Karen, it is, I mean, Carol, it is going really well. Um... Had a really light day compared to how the last three days have been. Um, I don't know if y'all remember me saying that we planted peach trees like, gosh, month, month and a half ago. Y'all, they are overloaded with all these peaches. So not only are we going to have to prune them, but I'm like, I mean, I guess you'd like a deadhead of flower. I don't know how you deadhead a fruit. But we got to take all these fruit off of them because these, they're only maybe seven feet tall and they don't they're not very big but they have one of them has over 40 peaches on it and they're like leaning over and here in georgia it's supposed to be really windy tomorrow so um i'm just amazed because a couple of people said to me when i said we were planting peach trees along the bank of the pond oh well, it'll be a few years for y'all have peaches and um they're just covered in these peaches and they're just the cutest thing i'll have to take a picture tomorrow and show y'all i think chris took some pictures 
he sent them to me before I got off work today. He was out checking on maybe what we need to do to them if it's going to be really windy tomorrow because they were really sturdy little trees. And, um, but we want to make sure, you know, they don't, and he said he's so glad he looked. They're covered in, covered in fruit. And the wind really, I think, uh, would, would blow them over. So we've got to put something on them. I don't know what he decided. Um, but it's going to be pretty cool. But I, maybe I should have known because we bought a lemon tree last year. Last year? Year before? I think it was last year. And it was covered in lemons. I mean, we've got tons of them off this year. Somebody went to the grocery store. So... And I think the peach trees, if I'm not mistaken, that we planted are the the new white peach, white peaches. Like the the meat of them on the inside is white. I think I remember seeing that. It has a specific name, but I have forgotten now since we've already planted them. I need to look it back up so I can remember to tell somebody. Because it looks like in the next few years we're gonna be giving away some peaches. And we're just painting over our, I'm not going to paint a new, the new wheels or like a bumper, but I am going to paint over that because I thought about writing Liberty as our bumper sticker, but it may not be enough. It may be too small, so I may just write USA. So that way we can do it big enough for at a glance, you can tell what it's supposed to be. Okay, we're just covering up that green. And y'all, that's the beauty of these little wood pieces. Um, you can paint it back. Like if I wanna go back to this green, which I really love, it's like the moss color in the Waverly chalk paint. Um, we just paint it back green. And this was the little truck from the Dollar Tree that had like when spring first came out. We just painted the other side because that way we didn't have to cover anything up. It was already a blank canvas on a canvas on the back. Okay, so we are covering this up. So that simple, we have turned our truck around. I'm gonna let this be dry while we work on all our little things to go in it. And we'll put our windows and our lights and all that little, our little swooshes, as Jennifer calls them, back in here. And I still like the black and white. I think I'll like that. I mean, we've got the black wheels, you know, so it's not off color. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side. Close this paint up. Send me some lemons, laugh out loud. I love to peel them and eat them. Um, we are going to have a lot of little blooms on that. Buffy's been out there. She planted it away from the house. And somebody was like, put Christmas lights on them. That'll keep them warm when it gets cold. And well, you know, they don't make Christmas lights that heat up anymore. I'm so dumb. So we, um, she cleaned out all around it. We thought we may lose it, but we did not end up losing it. But it's got all these uh, blooms on it too, again this year. Y'all need to set up a fruit stand. Probably, and listen, I think we only have like five or six, but if they keep getting really big, yeah, but Big Chris and, and my Chris agreed that um, they will have to uh, take a lot of them off. Because, you know, y'all, it just half of them got to a regular size peach. These limbs would not make it. Probably they're not big enough to support one. Um, so I think maybe we'll probably have to... Um, do away with a lot of them, but they, 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 obviously we planted them at a good time. They've caught really good. Since Ronnie said my sailboat looked like a ball. <laughs> no, it didn't. It looked like a Viking, um, uh, sailboat, but I like it. It was different. Hey, Mahala. All right. Listen, um, see our little compartment in here is not that big. So our uncle Sam hat, we're just going to use one of these hats from Christmas time. 
I told y'all I bought like a handful of this, and that was one of the things that our Dollar Tree had a lot of was these little hats. And then I think I went to the one in Augusta and grabbed some more. But they have been wonderful. I mean, uh, remember we made two hats for our tray for Easter out of them. Um, we're gonna make Uncle Sam hat now. We could make a scarecrow hat come the fall. I'm gonna tear out this little thing because we're gonna take this all apart. Um, it would be smart probably to heat the rest of this glue back up, but I'm not really. Y'all, look at these little springs. It's supposed to be, they're like little real metal springs. I'm gonna cut those off and put them in my little supply tray. Because you never know when you might need them. Snow tonight. Listen, I was looking at, um, Carol, where are you again, Pennsylvania? I was looking at Sherry or somebody's post today on just their regular personal Facebook, and they were saying how um, a big snowstorm or some kind of cold front was coming through, um, like Ohio and all that. Uh, in, uh, in Kentucky, are they Georgia peaches? Um, I don't know. I can't remember what the name of it. Is Georgia peach a white flesh piece? The flesh of it, the meat is white. Okay, y'all look. We're gonna take the bottom of this off. And it looks like they just put a ring of glue on it, which is how we'll just put ours back together. And it looks like it's just a piece of fabric with a piece of box in between them. All right, so if you don't have these little hats, cut you a circle out of, this is a piece of box. And look at that cute little fabric that we're not keeping because Cynthia is going to quit hoarding um, craft supplies. One three inches could happen tonight in Ohio. Sherry, I'm so sorry. I know y'all are sick of that. All right, we're going to take this rim off. It looks like a piece of fake burlap. I'm really not wanting to heat this up because underneath it is styrofoam and I don't want it to melt. But it looks like it's coming off fairly easy. And y'all, uh, just think, underneath what this looks like is maybe like it started off as a cone and they just cut the bottom off. So, like it was a cone and they just cut the bottom off. So, it's not hard to um, copy that if you don't have this. If you've made another craft out of it, take it apart and make you a cute little hat like we're making. This is like really, it's got like sticky on it. All right, and what we have here is an old pair of jeans because for whatever reason, in my mind, I like this color for these hats. That's why I wanted to do the truck, the darker um, blue, is to bring in Georgia Bell Peach, I love. Had to cover up all my flowers, that flat hat piece would make a cute Scottish uh, headpiece. Uh, yes, I mean, I I anything. That's why I'm saying sometimes you just have to look at crafts and grab a few of them because, you know, like a hat, there's just so many things. Like I said, you know, we can make scarecrow hats out of this. Come back around Christmas, you can make snowman hats. Um, all right, so let's see, you know. Cutting these pants up. I really want to keep the edge of this for the edge of the hat. So I'm going to cut down my seam. And plus, right now, I'm just going to get whatever the top is. Because first, it's easier to put the top on so you can, um, oh, listen, and of all places on this old pair of jeans is where I've got, like, some kind of ink or something on it. But I'm going with it because it just will add to it. And there's still some sticky on here from, I bet you, it is a spray adhesive. Let's see. Use those springs as firecrackers. And we're making little tiny firecrackers tonight. Let's see if I can do this without getting it on anything. There we go. It's going to make it a little wet, but it'll dry. And then we don't have to use hot glue. 
All right. Now I'm just gonna cut it just slightly. Let me eyeball it on the top. Just slightly a little bit bigger or wider than the top of my snowman. I think that we have made one of these. I maybe did a fall craft on it. I can't remember. It could have even been in my 4th of July. It was really old, a long time ago. But we're just gonna pull these down and I'm gonna try to use a little hot glue without melting my sides. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. All right, let me try this sticky. It comes out of here so fast. No. All right. Hey, Lynn from Pensacola. A Dollar Tree sells styrofoam shapes like that. They are green. All right, cool. That's what I'm saying. It looks like a cone, and you just cut the bottom off of it. Or if you get, you know my favorite, if you get styrofoam in the mail in your Amazon packages, and you know we all do, cut you a cylinder. Hold on. Like a, like a, a drum type cylinder. And then take your, like a knife and just shave it down where the, it's smaller than the top. Okay. Okay. I think we've got that down enough to stay. All right. So we got it down on the sides. And like I was saying, we're going to take... Oops, I didn't cut it close enough. The edge of these jeans, like on the seam. Let's see if we trimmed it up well enough. And we're gonna do the seam. Hold on, let me hold it on here first, and then I'll glue it. We're gonna do the seam all the way around the top edge, so it kind of cleans that edge up. All right, so let's put a little glue on there. Put the jean on here. And it's good you get to put your hot glue on the jean top and you don't put it on the styrofoam to, uh, so it won't melt. We're just gonna roll that edge. Hello there. Hey, Tammy. Um, Dollar Tree. Hey, hey, Diane. Hey, Tammy. Haven't seen you in a long time, girl, which I don't ever see anybody. If I don't see you in Walmart or church, you know, when church has been closed for a year, you don't see anybody. All right, so I've got it all the way around the top. I don't wanna see those little glue sticks. Now I can cut some of this off and shape it up. What is going on, y'all? <laughs> My jean is not cutting. Are these scissors just that crappy? Or am I just trying to cut it at a weird angle? I didn't want to waste any, so I didn't cut it ahead of time. But let's see. I think these scissors are just that crappy. If I would quit using my scissors for all this other stuff that I do, these little projects, they would still have some sharpness to them. Okay, just going around in a circle. All right. All right, so I wanna be able to show you this edge. You close it up here on the back and 
we'll pull that down tight, but I wanted you to see the edge, how you've got the edge all the way around it. Okay, now we're gonna pull this tight and it's stretchable jean. So instead of having to put the uh, glue on it and melt the styrofoam, I'm just gonna pull the jean tight and just like, well, I got a little bit still loose back there. Okay. Pull this tight. I want him to all be tight and only have one seam. I think I may be asking for too much, but we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, all right. So we'll do a seam, a straight line in the back, because I wanna have a back and a front so you don't see the seam. So I'm gonna do my uh, glue right down the center here, and I have this little flat, but I'm gonna cut that flat. You can tuck it if you want to. I'm just gonna cut it and let it be the back of my half. I know making a smaller one of these was a lot harder than making a bigger one, but the bigger one you make out of like a coffee can, so you can glue straight to it. It's kind of hard when you can't glue to the styrofoam because it will, um, melt so it makes it just a little hard okay i'm gonna cut this just a tad longer just like the top than the bottom so i can tuck it under and i really would like to cut some of the overlap off but i don't think i'm gonna be able to all right so let's pull this down and we're gonna tuck it under. Get a little bit of glue and just very lightly glue it so your styrofoam doesn't melt. Honey, you're good. It took me two days to do one craft. <laughs> oh my gosh, when I mean when you're doing something tiny, it does take a little bit longer. The big one, you would be done by now. Because the bottom, you know, we just need two round pieces, okay? So you need to keep pulling to get those little smooth edges. All right. We might have to have, nope. Put a little bit right there. We got the bottom to cover up that little tuck. Okay. Still pulling. Our little glue. Your daughter said, hey, a girl, a girl, sorry I'm late. I just got done with supper. It's okay, Vicki, you haven't missed anything. We just painted our truck from green to, um, to blue. And then we are making our hat that I'm having difficulties with because it's a, I'm trying to glue it to the styrofoam. Ow, I need to get my finger protectors out. It may have to be like a little bit catching and then we can glue it to the bottom. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Um, for posting that. If you're not a member of Sins Crafters, please send me a, um, I mean, hit the button that says Sins Crafters and it'll send me a um, message that you have requested to join. You don't have to fill out any kind of questions um, to become a member. And uh, it'll send me a notice and I'll accept you, and that way you can see what everybody else is doing, because not only they share their version of what we have done, they share their version of other crafters, too. Which is awesome. 
because me, I, don't, I sometimes I'll share projects if they're awesome or I'll add to them. But you know, it feels kind of weird, um, you know, doing somebody else's craft to a T. You know what I mean? So you get to see other crafters' ideas on there. And that's my bottom. And I'm just gonna cut around the edge. I think I'm gonna leave like just the smallest little amount. Maybe I can pinch them together. Because on the other one, it wasn't pinched together, but you didn't see the um, the cardboard in between it. So maybe we won't have that problem either. All right, so that's just the top and we're gonna do the same thing over one more time. Get that out of the way. I felt like, ooh, that was taking up a lot. All right, all right, here's this side. So, make sure you put it all around the edge because you don't want to have any flaps coming up. And then, not very much to the center. But remember, I'm using jeans, so it's a lot easier to um, hide a hot glue on jean. You know, like from coming through and seeing like that you actually have Jean, a really thick fabric. So if you have something really thin, you may want to like Maj Podge on there or do your spray adhesive. All right, now for the little thing, uh, like the little scarf part, what do you call that? Like hat band of a hat. I actually bought a scarf at the Dollar Tree the other day. That's kind of like a 4th of July, um, a thing, so it's not kinda, it is. All right, so we're gonna put our top on our bottom. Hope we don't melt any of the styrofoam. Hey, Sin, hope you are having a great day. And I sure am, I hope you are too. Hobby Lobby had the old type clothes pins back there where they sell the wood and wood letters. Patty, I need to go. I have not been to Hobby Lobby in like over a month. I was so scared to go the whole month of March. So what has it been, like a month and a half now. All right, so here's our hat, just our little Sam hat, and let me grab my scarf. It was actually a pretty scarf um, for what you would want. I mean, you could get a lot of, you could decoupage this cloth. Oh, here's the good side as far as like the colors. It's got 4th of July, Home of the Brave. You got like a United States, several stars, like a band of USA. That part on the bottom is kind of cut off, but throughout the scarf, you could get like a whole, um, there's a truck on it. So it was really, really cute. But we only need like a little piece of this. So I think I'm going to fold it in half. And then you know, I always do this, y'all, when I have to cut a lot of fabric so I don't have to make a long cut. All right, and that way I only had to make a little bit of a cut. And we're gonna tie this around the edge. Now I wanna put my little tie in the front cause that is the back where the seam is. Sin, where can I buy E6000? I get mine at Walmart because that is the only place um, like in Waynesboro, like that's really convenient for me to go through. I think they sell little tiny tubes in certain Dollar Trees. But don't go into the craft section. I actually go back in like the hardware section where like the glue and sheetrock mud and all that stuff is. Here's our little hat. And I'm actually gonna cut just the tails a little bit more so it's um, that. And I think I have a little piece of lace over here that would look really cute too. No, that'll cover it up. But lace would be really cute around the edge of that. All right, so we've got our hat that we'd be put, putting in our truck. We'll probably put it to the side. And the other side, 
we're going to put our firecrackers. So that's one down to go on our little truck. Now, I, uh, of course, you can use um, um, toilet paper rings. I got this out of um, actually our roll of paper outside for the garden, you know, that black stuff that y'all, the little tarp you put in gardens. That's why this is so thick, and I almost need a saw to get through it. Um, I had one that we had saved from the little rolls of mesh that you get from the dollar store. Would have been perfect because this was so tough for me to cut. Um, but I'll tell you, um, on one of the crafters, and I forget what her name is. Um, I got to watch the replay. She made little um, firecrackers out of penny or dot, you know, the like money change rolls, like the pennies, quarters, and nickels and dimes. And that was, that was it's such a cute idea um, because, you know, you get those things for pennies on the dollar and they have so many in them, um, which was really, really cute. I went to Hobby Lobby when I visited my mother in Virginia last week. Uh, nice fabric, maybe. Clothespins uh, called doll head clothespins. Dollar General has them eight for a dollar in their arts and crafts section. I'm gonna go in there because that's the one thing I don't have. I have like every kind of clothespin you could think of, but the old fashioned kind. Um, all right, I got one more little place. But I thought the um the idea using the money change rolls. Um, and, and the hard kind, not the kind that you get free from your bank, the kind that you buy that's already, you know, got the shape of the coin or whatever it is you're, um, you're rolling up those and you get them in like the business section of, um, you know, any, uh, like office supply store. I mean, Walmart has them in their office supply part, but like, you know, a Staples, um, anything like that has them. I'm sure you probably can get them just about anywhere. Um, but I loved it. I thought that was such a great idea. Um, all right, so we're going to make two this size. But I was digging through my stuff, and I thought, y'all, we have all these, like, little pieces that if you craft a lot, we had all these stems back from the fall that you could get from the Dollar Tree. And for something this size... You know, I want to make them a little cluster um, of them, but, you know, I want to be able to make different sizes. So, I love the fact, and, and these, y'all, you can cut some kind of branch out of your yard. Just, you know, stack them in threes or something like that, and all you have to do is just put a little hole in the top of them, and you have your firecracker. So, I think we're going to do both of those. The only thing is, is with the wood ones, you, you know, tend to have to paint them, where these I want to cover with fabric. And I'm actually going to distress my fabric a little bit. No, 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 this one. Okay, here we are. Ha! Huh. Knew I was grabbing the wrong fabric. So, all we're going to do is just take this and roll it up on our, um, and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit longer and I can stuff the excess in there and I don't have to worry about the edges. And the good thing about stripe material is you know you're cutting it straight if you just go down the stripe. So, hey, Jakey Jake, and all my Jakes. He's still here and he has heart, he has heartworms. He went to the vet because his ears, you know, it's the one that, hunting dog that Buffy sits for. I knew his ears. He was shaking his ears. And not only does he have like yeast infections in his ears, he has heartworms. So, he's getting all kind of treatment. Thank goodness it hadn't turned into heart disease or anything yet. So, he's got like a three month treatment going on. And so, he's getting spoiled. But I mean, who spends, you know, thousands of dollars on a dog and doesn't give them heartworm pills? Hunters. <sighs> but he's getting his TLC now, and I'm, um, but he's going to be fine. His ears are just a few days medicine, and, 
and everything. And then I got him those monthly pills, but he can't take the monthly pills till you deal with the problem at hand. So we can just tuck that in, in there and it, I don't need all this. But he is such a sweetheart. He's pacing around right now. Jake, you want to come tell everybody how he's really looking for his girlfriend? Because Sterling will be here this weekend, y'all. My baby is coming home. And I'm so excited. But y'all don't worry about Jake because he's going to be just fine with me taking care of him. I might have to butt heads with Chris and Buffy on how many treats I give him. But Cynthia doesn't care. They even hid the treat box from me, not knowing that treat box doesn't hold all the treats. Um, I got the bags of treats hidden from them. Ha ha. And they're always going, we're going to town right now and leaving Jake with me. So Jake never goes hungry and doesn't have treats. Y'all don't worry. Because you know, y'all, when they hunt, they have to be on some special diet so they stay skinny. And I mean, I just can't deal with that, y'all. I'm having like some legit problems, you know, with them and this dog. And he's really good friends with Chris. And I'm like, I love you, but do not think that I'm not gonna spoil this dog. It's a pet. I know he hunts three or four months out of the year, but he's still your pet. Spoil him. I made firecrackers out of ten full uh, one year. Oh my God, I bet that was awesome. Can't wait to have a grand. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, my, these pets are going to be my grands probably forever. All right. So we just cover these in our striped material. And y'all, we are going to age them a little bit without having to dye our material with um, some of our antiquing. Now, I want to do a little bit of a band. Um, and I may do the band in a different place on each one. Of course, we got to do one with a band on the top. But we can maybe do a band in the center over here. What are they cleaning up out there? Got to have your own rules. That's right. I'm like, he's at my house and, and mm -mm. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and y'all, I know that it, and Neely and Buff tell me all the time that you know, I spoil Sterling and all that, but I mean, I just can't limit a dog. A dog just, I know there are dogs that if they eat too much, it can kill them and all that, but this, this isn't the situation we're dealing with. We're just dealing with somebody that wants this dog to go out and retrieve some ducks three months out of the year. So that doesn't mean that the rest of the time he's got to be on some limited diet. You know, I can't, I can't deal with these hunter men right now. <laughs> can y'all tell? I love Jake. Him's a sweet boy. All right, let's see. Hmm, I'm from Sam Hat. No, let's just do this one the same way because we're going to put the other ones in the front of it. And um, you won't be able to see the red, white, and blue if I put it down below. Buffy, you never told me what kind it was. Gotta have your hello. Just jumped on. What did I miss? Nothing. We changed our truck from the green to a blue. We made us a little hat, and then we made us some um, firecrackers. And these are the same size, but we are gonna cluster them because we're gonna use, I was hoping I could use these lighter ones. I did grab some of the darker ones, but I think you could see the paint better on. Let's see. That one, this one, and maybe, no. 
that one. Because we need to do us a little cluster. Okay. So those are the ones we're going to use. Let's stick all this stuff to the side and get all our this fabric down here is kind of a nightmare. I keep at finding fabric and I'm like, oh, I'll add this to my up front. And I don't, I don't think I need any more fabric up front. All right. So let's see, we are going to paint them. Let's get our barn, or is it barnyard? Barn red. And our blue back out. All right, I need to add some more red on here because I'm looking like now we got a lot of blue. I need to get some red back on here. Been at the VA hospital the last few days. Hubby had his second COVID shot. They told him to hate that shot car because he would need it in the future. Oh, man. Yeah, because don't you have to go back now, y'all were saying, and get them like every year or something like a flu shot? Okay. Y'all, you can, and when you're making these like any type of firecrackers, you can do, you don't just have to do stars. You can put polka dots on them little chevron zigzags, anything. As long as you put the little wick out the top, they'll know what it is. All right. You do one more of this red, and then I'll do one blue, and then we can add little white things on them. Okay. Let's take that off. What is crafting broad? What is the crafting broadcast? What does that mean, Korea Buffy? What is the crafting broadcast? Crafting? No, crafting broadcast. I mean, like I don't, I don't understand the question. Helene, is that how you say? It? I love your name. That's so pretty. My daddy always raised blue tick hounds. He was a hunter. Did he starve on poor babies? Um, hey, Judy uh, from Mississippi. All right. All right, now this last one, we're going to do this Bunker Hill Blue. And y'all, this paint goes so far. I can't tell you how much I've done with this paint. And look, I'm still like way up at the top. Lots of times if you buy like this quality, you know, better paint, it's a little bit thicker. You don't have to do as many coats. And it just seems to last longer. And I think I bought this last summer. This and the red was probably one of the first colors that I bought. All right. So there are three little firecrackers. All right, now let me take out the white and we're gonna put our little windows and everything back on our truck. And I'll just take, believe it or not, y'all, I got Waverly White right here. I still don't think I can do it. We're going to the plaster. <laughs> it's just so white. Request to join CN's Grand Broadcast it's in a pen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, what you can do is for uh, my followers, uh, they join, and you can post your crafts. Like, when you join and I accept you, it allows you to post your crafts. I mean, you could just look at other people. You could be a member of it and never craft. I mean, never post anything. Um, but you get to see so many crafts. And everybody's take on some things that I do, like I said, you can see their take on other crafters because there's a lot of us that watch multiple crafters. And remember when we're doing the little windows, you just kind of make like little D's. And then you just fill it in. Nothing fancy. They do not have to match on either side. Be hard with the 
all the beads and all that on it. So I'm just gonna make another D on this side and fill it in. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little license plate down here. I'm not going for anything fancy. Just four lines. Remember, it's like a rickety old truck. So nothing has to be perfect. So here, see, I just did a box at the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna define the uh, little fenders again. Swish all the way down. Maybe the other side. these swishes are so much better if you every time and it's aggravating if you um, reload your paintbrush every time instead of like trying to do it really fast like I'm doing it okay all right and then we had some little swishes up and we're just making it a little whimsical putting a little swish on the corners on the corners of our window. We, I kept the black because it was already on uh, the white, so I didn't have to paint over it. Little tailgate. I'm just doing a little, like a corner of a box around the tailgate. And let's see, maybe a couple swishes on our tail our little bumper okay so besides the head the little tail lights we've gotten our truck pretty much back the way we want it um all right let me write let me see if this is small enough i don't think that brush is small enough to write the usa with and then i think this one is too small but we'll see Nope, this one may be perfect. And y'all know my letters are there. There we go. Just USA. Now, and I, look, y'all, I'm putting my elbows um, and my arm in my firecrackers. All right, my crafts would get a ton of laughs, comedy crafts. No, I mean, we all have a good time. Y'all seen Bless Your Heart, have you not? Everybody, y'all y'all are the ones that tell me everybody has those moments. Um, we are having two more great grandchildren. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right, where's the little tiny one I just had? Cause I don't really want to take my little uh, little tiny dots out just for our little tailgate again. I love that little technique that I showed y'all last time. And we'll have like one of those long little lights on the back of a truck. You know, they have those big oval lights. They don't make them like that, I don't think, anymore. There's some tail lights. Oops. Some tail lights. Now let me make it match on the other side. And I'm just using the same old red. There we go. So our truck is all back in the shape and has USA on it now. Uh, scene, bless your heart, in my nightmares. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Lynn, don't say that. Uh oh, okay. All right, I am also gonna make some firecrackers, but 
forgot to get my little truck out the way again. And let's go back to our firecrackers and let's see if they're dry. Probably not, but we'll dry them on up. They painted up pretty good. Not drying very fast, but Lynn, that's hilarious. I was like, nobody's ever gonna watch me again. It was so sad. And Chris was trying to make me feel better about it. I was like, there's nothing making this better. There's no making this craft better. But look at her now. What will we do without her? Those painted up really cute. This was some, one of my favorite things in the fall was being able to go and buy for a dollar these little bag of sticks, y'all, and I have to live in a forest. Knowing I could go cut a billion twigs, it was just so fun cutting them. I mean, getting them to buy them, the little stump ones, too. Okay, let's see. They're too small for any of my little dabbers to... But you know what? I bet the end of this would make the perfect little polka dot. It's like just the end of a skewer. Let's do, oh yeah, look. Perfect little polka dots. You have to reload it every time, I guess, because it's not absorbent, but. All right, let me get this side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to look at what I have on, y'all. I have on yard clothes. We've been still doing yard work, even though we didn't do any today at the church. I was like, I'm gonna come prepare so I don't go home. I have to go home and change. And then they were like, we're doing it tomorrow. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna pretty much have to dry this so I can set it down. Uh, add to bless her heart. I need to add to her. I can't go to sleep with foot, um, foot scene. I was in North Charleston watching you last night. Oh, that's so cute. I know, aren't those like just the cutest little things? Ooh, that's getting hot on my hand. Please don't mess up if I let you down. All right, let's see. We could do, oops, I think I didn't take my water out of this. Out of that paintbrush. Okay, and this one, I want to do like some little stripes, but almost like little teardrops stripes. Just trying to do something different, y'all. No rhyme or reason to it, just... No, I wasn't saying that I don't like the fact that they hunt with dogs. That was not it. I don't like that them making him be all skinny because he's got to hunt. That's what I meant. Couldn't say that Buffy was in here a while ago. <laughs> I hear him outside now, so I can talk to talk him about him again. Yeah, they like underfeed him so that he's frisky all the time. and They, don't, they can jump in the water and... You know, I could probably live off a cup full of food a day, but should I? No. Would I always be hungry? Yes. I guess I'm just not used to having a pet that's not an animal that's not your pet that you spoil it rotten and you love it to death. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I just did like some little teardrops dots all the way around it just every now and again so it wouldn't be the same so sitting next to each other they match but yeah they don't so let's see maybe maybe i can do some dots on this one 
but um, some blue dots on it instead of white dots. How many times have I opened these containers tonight? A thousand. Be, 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 be. Are you keeping Jack? No, technically Buffy is dog sitting him, but that's because he won't. He's renting a little place from us across the pond that his Chris's dad rents out. And Jake will not stay in, in his pen. He's like, they call him Houdini because he can get out of it. And when it was super cold, he got out and he came to our house. Well, of course, you know, he paid Buffy like one week to dog sit for him. And, and she was like, oh, he told me I only give him this much food. So, you know, of course, Mama Hen had to step in and say, are you kidding me? I mean, he's a full-grown lab. So now he doesn't go home. So now he told her that he would pay her to, like, watch him all summer. And now he won't, I mean, he won't leave our yard for anything. Like, we don't even have to lock him up. He just, well, he sleeps in our house every night. Because, you know, I got him a bed and everything. Took him to the vet when his ears... We're scratching. I mean, it just, even when they're hunting dogs, you have to take care of them. You know what I mean? They, they got, have to get them checked out. I don't know. I hate to say that. I guess I'm just, y'all done hit me at a rough night tonight when it comes to chilling and taking care of chilling. <laughs> So I switched to giving her baby carrots instead of treats. He loved them. Had a harder time keeping my hubby from giving him treats. Um, I had some carrots outside today. You know, Chris and I were in the garden again, and I got me some more little carrot, my fresh carrots. Now, he thought he wanted some of them, and he chewed on it for a second, but he didn't want it. He likes blackberries. Like, when I eat blackberries, he always likes one. Um, but no, the carrot today, he kind of chewed on it for a second, but I think he thought, mm, it's a little too healthy for me, but, but don't think that he won't sit there and chew a stick up and he's eating that stick. He's not just chewing on it. So I told Chris today, I said, you think he's over there just chewing on that, but he's not. Um, all right. So I'm going to take my antiquing. I just sat here and just got up on my soapbox about animals. And y'all really don't mean to be that way. I just kind of was upset about that earlier. All right, let's see. Where is my antiquing? There it is. We hadn't been our antiquing in a while. Ours like pickles and beets. Yeah, I mean, but no, you can't even give me that. You can't give me anything but this one cup of food. I'm like, for real, for real, for real. Oh, just. And y'all, he's the sweetest thing in the world. Okay. All right, I got my antiquing on here. Get away from it, me. Like I said, it's okay. It just uh, it just caught me at a bad time today. We're gonna have some some of uh, who is it, Sherry, and who is it else that does the primitive? One other person. I want all the whites to be really dull. Beautiful lady, you have lost. Hold on. Uh, Y'all not seeing less of me today. I am the same as I was. Beautiful lady, you have lost weight. You look amazing. Thank you so much, though. Uh, Y'all not seeing less of me today. Oh. I um, me either. Hold on. What are y'all saying? 
For some reason, I am not getting alerts anymore. I don't know. I think somebody said, I think that must have been some kind of thing they were putting out. Because, you know, like a lot of crafters have went to where they, um, you text them and you give them your number, some app. And, like, every time I go, like, if I could figure that out, y'all, I would do it. But I don't, I don't know about all that. Um, where I could alert y'all. I'm going to look into it. My, when Neely's home this weekend and Amy, my niece, they're all my technical support. Like, I got this website up and they were like, um, you know, thinking, I'm like, listen, you got to show me how to do all the stuff on it. I mean, I can repeat anything that I'm shown, but I can't, like, just over the phone. You're like, click on this button. I don't know what I'm doing, so... I'm sorry if you're not getting notifications anymore. I haven't done anything different to my page. It has to be something that Facebook has changed. Oops, that wasn't dry. I don't want that to be so stark white. So, put a little antiquing on it and it'll just come right down. Yeah, I'm not doing anything different. But I noticed that on mine, y'all. I follow several people. And, and, and I don't do any of that. Te I mean, I've never texted anybody and said, here, put me on your text list. But I don't get alerts on all mine. And I, I mean, and I'll go to them and, and, and see. And it'll say that I'm still following. So I don't know. Whoever knows what they do in Facebook land, I don't ever know. I don't think they do either. Then you like to read. I've got the book, the uh, SC State Hospital book yet. Hold on. Like, girl, is that like a learning book? Because I don't read learning, learning books. Like, like to learn. I don't learn when I read. It's like romance. The S. SC State Hospital book. Yeah, I think you would like it. No, but I'll look it up, but I don't... I, is it like a romance novel? I get notifica notifications when you come on. Okay, good. You stressing with... Ma Hold on. Stressing with makeup? No, I don't wear makeup. I, I Hold on. Facebook is getting out of control. Had a friend had surgery, went back for checkup, got good report. And I said prayers answered and Facebook flagged me for that. Really? I, yeah, if it's like a learning book, I don't want to learn. It's like, you know, check uh, to be sure your follow button is still on. That's what I do. I'll go and say, am I still following this person? Because I got a couple of them that are my favorites. And they're not really big. They're kind of small like I am, but we tend to I tend to like all their crafts. You know, some of the people use just like a little bit of their crafts, but I, and, and I'm still following them, but it, um, will not, uh, I mean, every now and again, I'll see it on there. You know, and I don't get that many notifications. Okay, y'all have some really good rusty wire. It's like, um, and it wasn't meant to be rusted, but my, it got rusted in my mom's, like, yard supplies. And she said, do you want this rusty? And I mean, I got, like, a billion links of it. So, I really like the rusty look. Um, but I'm going to try to get those two little springs. I wish I had more than two. Maybe I can cut one of them in half. Yeah, they seem pretty long because they're coiled up. The ones we saved from our hat. Yeah, look how long that is. It's going to be good. Y'all so smart. All right, now, I do not want to call Chris for my drill, so. What did I have in here that I could use? Is Bert coming? Oh. Okay. Yeah. It um, lets you put a, a little hole in it just with an X-Acto knife. It's kind of shredding up pretty easy. All right, so let me, even though I don't know what I'm wearing, just curl this up on the end and make me a whole little dot. Ooh, my 
glue gun has timed out. It's the one I had from this last night. I didn't think it was fully charged. Ah, you sand. I don't have anything else on the beach for sand makeup. What do you mean, sand for what? I get notifications when you come on. Every state has mental hospital. Uh, hot glue, the tip of the wire holds great. Yeah, that's what I did. Um, so, and I'm gonna use my bigger wire for the, uh, the bigger ones that we made. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a little, this wire is so small, just make a little loop on the end and that way the glue can grab it. I would say drill a little hole if it was something bigger, but this wire isn't that heavy, but look y'all, look. So you get all kind of parts from your dollar store stuff. <laughs> Just setting that kind of on the side just to give it a minute to harden up. So there's one of our little firecrackers. I really don't want to cut this, but I want to bend it up like it's, you know, a good little antique wick. Okay, this one did good too. All right, so we'll set those to the side. And all we have to do now is put this in here. I'm gonna make this kind of long just because they're hollow. And I wanna glue it to the side. Hot glue the tip of the wire. I got notification when she's live. You have to click on bell to be notified. Yeah, you have to make sure in your phones that you didn't by chance cut off notifications. Um, and notifications, like you have to go into your settings in your phone, not Facebook. You go into the settings in your phone and go to the Facebook little thing in there and see if the notifications are on or not. Now, if you cut that off, yes, you're not going to get any note. But if you're getting like notifications for half your people, just not me or something like that, then it's probably just an internal Facebook deal. The oh, there it is. This one's going to be a little tricky because it's hollow and I just want to glue it over to the side. All right. Patty from Georgia, where did you get your glue gun? Patty, I got it from Amazon, but you can also buy it um, in Home Depot. Home Depot owns Ryobi. You cannot buy it at Lowe's. I made that mistake. That's why I always say that. Uh, it's on, though. I checked it. Yeah, Debbie, I don't know. I don't, I think it may just be a Facebook thing. Oh, you can pick and share, and it's saying you can pick and choose who you want to be notified for. Um, maybe that's what I need to go in and see. Um, now they just kind of look like, I'm gonna let that cure just a little bit longer, and I don't, oh, I've done it to the cloth, and the cloth is tucked in there, but, okay. Yeah, this stuff is like really rusty, as the rust is getting on my hands. Okay, so there's one. And see, it's a little bit to the side because I had to, gosh, at the webs, I had to put it on the side. But when I put it in my truck, I'll be able to manipulate it where I want it to be. Because this one is kind of the same way. Okay. 
Now these big ones, I'm actually gonna glue together. The rest of them we can just kind of put together with twine and I want my really little fine twine. Um, ooh, we doing good, y'all. I was a little late, so we're just a little over an hour. You only got 30 to follow on Facebook. There is a limit. No, and I don't follow 30. I don't think I follow 30, no, no. I mean, I may follow like 10 people. But yeah, I don't I don't have time. I can't I'll be on there sometime watching stuff for hours and I I'm bad about watching crazy stuff like how to make a pond out of concrete. <laughs> crazy stuff. But you just have to see how it turns out. You ever sit there and just catch yourself? I'm like, I had to see how it turned out. And it's stuff you don't want you're not gonna make. Or like when those people in the jungle make like a swimming pool out of some mud they get. <laughs> Y'all, I could go on and on the crap that I watch sometime. I couldn't tell you the last time I even read a book. That tells you anything. I think I'm going to glue them all together so I know they stay in the place that I want. Just a little bit of glue. All right, so I got my little bundle, and I'm going to show it to you. Let me tie it to give it a little bit more secure. Security. Security. I don't want any kind of bow, I don't think. Oh, gracious love. I don't know which side. Okay, here I was right here. All right. All right, and we'll make our cute little, you know, our TNT. There we go. So there's our little cluster of craziness. I feel like I want this to be a little bit more curly. There we go. So there's our little craziness. We're gonna put this in our hat in here, but I wanted to put raffia back in here. Not the moss like we had for our carrots. Oh my Lord, raffia. I mean, I must've got like the kind of like a string. Yeah, these. These scissors really won't even cut that. That's when you know your scissors are terrible. Okay. All right. Go back in there. I want all you strings hanging out. I want you to be in the box. Try to roll this around, yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. We're gonna set our little. See, even as small as they were, they're almost too big for this little thing. So I want to put the hat in here too. So those will sit right there, and the hat. We'll put the little where they'll hang out here from the side. And our little, all right. So all we gotta do now is do our um, uh, bow. And we'll be all ready to go. I thought about doing some little firecrackers. I mean, uh, like fireworks shooting off. But I don't know if they'll look like uh, firecrackers or pom-poms, so. Um. Let's just, let's just go with our bow. All right, let's see. And I got all kind of little ribbon here, but I really am going to have to use some bigger because I want to use some of this like that has the stars on it. 
Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's move that out the way and let's make our little bow. And our little bow doesn't have to be very big like our other one that we just took off of here. It can be, um, well, however big you want it to be, but we don't want it to take away from our cute little truck supplies. that we got to add a little country to it um, here is some small that is wired This is pretty wide, so I'm going to cut it in half. But it's actually got a little glitter on it, y'all. Mean glitter. Um, two, oh, that's nice. Where did you find your star ribbon? Off of the internet. I bought it last summer off of, um, I think I've got all my star ribbon off of somebody on eBay. And I paid, up to me, a little too much for it because then I saw it almost half the price somewhere else. So, like, if you um, Google, um, like, you know, 4th of July or star ribbon, don't always click on, like, the first one you find because most of them sell the same ribbon. Just find the one that has the best prices. Is what I do. Um, I don't think I have any more. Nope. I have some red right here, but it's a little wide too. And it doesn't always have to be star. Just the very first... No, it was a second wreath that I made for Mimi. I did us both uh, a 4th of July ribbon. That's mainly the reason why I have this. Because it was before I um, even started doing Sands Craft and Ben. Let's see. I kind of want the this to be on top just because I want the red to show up really good in this because we haven't done a lot of red on here. And I was thinking that we were gonna do a lot of red. Uh, pinch, pinch, pinch. Uh, surprisingly, Dollar Tree has nice ribbon. Sometimes, uh, I know in the fall, it was really awesome. I mean, you had like a buffalo check, black and white, that you could use for any holiday. Christmas was pretty sad. Um, uh, so hopefully, maybe fall will be good again. But you know, I get a place that always has really good sales on their ribbon, but you have to catch it when it's on sale is Michael's. And Michael's is a place that I forget about a lot just because it's so close to our Hobby Lobby. And, you know, when you have to choose which one of those you want to go in, Hobby Lobby usually wins out every time. But when I go into Michael's and they do have, like, you know, ribbon on sale, it's always nice ribbon. And they have good holiday ribbon. Where, to me, uh, Hobby Lobby's uh, Easter ribbon was kind of sad this year. And that's surprising because, you know, they always have cute ribbon. It was kind of like really shiny and just kind of looked cheap. Um, so, I was kind of surprised that it really wasn't that great. There was a couple that were okay. And maybe I just went in there too late, but I think I went like way early. How are you doing, uh, Lauderdale? <laughs> Freddie, I need a trip to Tybee. I need to relax. Especially I get after finished uh, 
this uh, whole 30. Y'all, today it was probably my toughest day with sugar. I'm kind of over the whole, you know, only drinking water. I can live with that when I never thought I'd be able to live with that. But today, Buffy, and I don't even eat oatmeal. Buffy cooked some kind of oatmeal thing, you know, that's supposed to be like less sugar and less whatever that she got. She's all about, you know, eating less calories or something. And, um... And I don't know if it's because I've been so long without sugar now. I mean, even fake sugar. I have not had any of that. That she cooked it and like the whole house smelled like this oatmeal sugar stuff. And I was just drooling over it. And I'm not even a huge oatmeal fan. So today's been pretty tough on the sugar for me. I'm trying to find really small hounds tooth fabric. Oh, I want to make a one twelve scale couch and chair with it. Oh, I don't know. You may have to look on the internet for something like that. If it, Joann's is always my go-to fabrics store. You know, like if I know I want to buy something specific and rare um, that you, you just don't think everybody's going to have on, Joann's is the place that I go to for fabric. Rhonda, we can't have hounds tooth in my house. You know, that's too much like Alabama. My husband would not let that happen. You know, everything's football. Okay, so there's our little bow. And I'm actually going to let the little tails of my jute come down on here too. In the hounds too, the black and white stuff. Yeah, child, I can see. I bought a jacket one time that I loved that was that. And he was like, you cannot wear that anywhere with me. And I'm like, what? Okay, so we're going to put our little hat in here. And I may have to, like, dab a little glue on that. But the good thing about it is it'll pop on there. It'll be enough to hold it. So here's our little 4th of July, y'all. I'm in love with these little um, firecrackers. These little firecrackers, are they not the cutest? And I just bundled them up. So you can get some sticks out your yard, old toilet paper ring, or I would say something a little bit smaller than that, but too cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you love it. Thank you for all the hearts. And I'm gonna hang it up and I'll take a picture of it and let you see it. And, um, we did good tonight, ladies. I was a few minutes late, and it's still before 9 o'clock, so y'all can actually have time to watch another crafter tonight. And I have not taken up your whole night. No, I've got enough in there. Um, cute, right? Yeah, I think they're cute, too. I made some last year. Well, I'll take out my box, and we'll go through. I think last year I made some out of pool noodles to go in my little, you know, the wagon, because they needed to really be big enough. And I'll show y'all those, because those were really cute and they were really simple. Um, and I think I just put canvas around them and painted the canvas, painted like, you know, uh, blue and the stripes on them. They were really easy. So I'll take my box out and uh, let you see some of the bigger ones that we made. But I will see y'all tomorrow on Wednesday. Thanks.